Hello everyone. Today we're going to do a art journal page inspired using art by Marlene. Um, it is my birthday this month, so I figured I'd create myself a birthday party. So, what I used, let me move all this off. Let me get my little tray here. I have a little tray of everything that I've wanted to audition. And I'll just slide all these off right onto here. Because what I first need to do is glue, let me put you back out a little bit, my collage papers down. Oh, I hope the storm doesn't hit too hard. Okay, so the elements, the paper elements I've used was the mint collection, the lime collection, and this is the collage paper that I used. I don't think, yeah, there's nothing on the back of it, but it just says 10 patterns and art by Marlene. Okay, I'm gonna remove this piece. Like I said, all I did was go through the collage stack and pick out the papers that were gonna best suit my die cut pieces. And what I wanted to achieve. So I will take this, I will spread some Liquitex on there. I don't, I didn't grab my other one. I'm just trying to beat this thunderstorm, which I know is just barreling towards us. It's awesome. I have just a scratch piece of junk mail underneath. And I'm just going to move this around real quick. I'm going to try to be as precise as possible when it comes to gluing this down. And I have a fan on, so that's that's just not going to help me. Um, to help keep it moist while I try to figure it out, I'm just going to give it a little spritz of water. And move it around. I want this at the top. So let me Try my best here and I'll pull it tight so I can at least get it even. I'll go down the middle and out the sides. If it's not even and it's not perfect, it's okay because I can already tell that it's not because I have some white on the side, but I'm going to use some paint anyway. Unless you're going to be absolutely strictly precise. now. I have this piece, and no, it doesn't fit on the sides, but I have some paints that I want to use on this. So, I will add some more down here. Grab my brush. Get it laid on there. And I'll flip this around and put the rest of it on there. So then I'm not wasting. Pick it up, position it fairly well where I want it, and just mash it down. Because nothing in art journaling is ever perfect. At least not for me. Now I'll trim this edge off, dry it. And I'll be right back. Okay, um, I do have some gesso. And I'm going to try and just lighten a few layers up. Before I lay any more down. I just want to knock it back a little bit. I'm just taking it out of the lid with my finger 
and just spreading it. It's just going to lighten it up a little bit because I don't, maybe, but see, maybe not gesso. All right, so let's try some white paint. And I'll put it on the side here just a little bit. And I'll pick it up and I'll just lay it down, lighten it up just a little bit so that it's not so dark. Because I'm going to add some more green in. I just want the, there to be a background, but I don't want it to be a super busy background. white to these wisps which to me are going to represent a nice windy day why not not else the rest of the white down here all right so that's kind of close to that let's see what happens when we use the lime tree because I have a lot of pinks and purples. I had to go with contrasting in order to him my little friends, but he's got a green hat on, so I need to change this up some. Let's turn this down a little bit. I'll take my brush. And I'll just pick it up and I'll just add it with my finger. I'll just create the highlights of the edges here. My pieces, I have it watered down some. I'll grab one of my homemade art journals and I will not waste the paint so I will just put it in here okay and I'll wipe this off let's see what happens with the Key West we've lightened this up Ooh, that's a lot but that'll go in the in there Picking it up. I think what I'll do is I'll use the paintbrush. I know I don't fast forward a lot of things. I don't speed through every. I'm not a huge, what do they call them, influencer. I am just somebody starting out. And it's all right. I mean, you know, everybody has to start somewhere, you know? And I'm just going to move that around a little bit. Just don't want so much dark. That looks green. It's there. just trying to clean the green out so that I can get to the blue all right so let's go back in with the Key West and I'll just smooth it out a little bit come in here because we've already got Plenty of pattern, you want to say? I was just trying to take down some of the darkish blue. 
There we go. I'll just use my brush to smooth it out. I'll pick this paint up and I'll be right back. Okay. Um, while this is drying, I just took all of my elements and went around them with a black marker so that there is no white edge to them. And I wrote out birthday on my cake. But I think what I need to do is somehow ground this part because I don't want everything floating. But what I think I can do is once I get it on there, I'll just shade around everything. That's about the reddest cardinal I've ever seen. Wow. Pretty. Okay, so let's see what my composition is going to be here. With all my little friends, I've got my word happy up here. There's my birthday cake. Because yes, it's my birthday this month. I'll put her up there. And all I did, her dress had ice cream cones on it. I didn't want the ice cream cones. So I cut it off and found a different dress pattern in there. And I cut it to how I liked it. I mean, you can cut things up and re-put them back together to make what you want. Like the the little animals, they don't they don't come with birthday hats. <laughs> They do in my world, but let's see. That looks good. Maybe I'll move this a little better over here. And I'm just going to put down, I'll put this one over here. And that was retarded to do. Don't say that word. That's not nice. And I'll swap them. Why not? I just need to be able to get my little happy word in there. That'll work. Before we go any further, that's what I'll do. I will glue everything down. I've just got some Barely Art Precision Glue. I like the little tip on there. Because I can just whiz through here and put some glue on and it dries fairly fast. And I make sure that she fits. Ta-da! And birthday cake. And I just added an extra candle, glued it on. Yes, I did. I'm not going to put exactly how many candles I need because, no, that's just not going to be. But, I'm fine with my age. You know, it is what it is. And, let's see. I'll go here next because... Watch me mess this up because I moved them all. But, it's all good. So if I want her here, and you there, probably not, but that's fine. Nothing is ever meant to be perfect. Not in my art journals. That's for sure. I like my art journals to be whimsical. And can I move you just a little bit? Thank you. Have a nice day. All right. And now we'll just figure out where we're going to put. Whoops, I wasn't even on there. That's fine. Let's see. I had her ear behind there. That's good. Everybody's there to just have cake anyway. Mm. And I'll just put this right there. 
and I'll lift this up. Her art is meant to be whimsical anyway. I mean, if you try to make it all too close to reality, you're just going to lose the fun of making the art. Now, let me dry this for one minute and I'll be right back. Okay, I'm going to try a darker green, just any darker green, and I'm going to try to shade around my critters and myself just to to help ground it a little bit. Um, it may work, it may not work, who knows. But I'm just gonna take a angled brush with some water in it, take some of that water off, and just pick up in the corner. It's probably too much. That's okay. I'm just going to drag it down. That's too much water. And go back in, load it, come along here, and just Make it a little darker halfway down. Come around my puppy dog who will always be at my birthdays. And I'll just make this bottom half a little bit darker. Let's see. There we go. Hopefully that's better. I'll come in and add a little bit more underneath. I know nobody has bodies or legs, but it's all right. It's all good. All right, that's not so bad. And I'll just wipe this green up. I'm not going to sit there and... Alright, so I have some glitter pens. And I think I'm going to see how they work. To give my page some highlight. Let me turn this light on and we'll work hold on okay we're gonna use these I got them from Amazon come on now they're called two hands glitter markers and they're water-based they're extra fine so let's add some highlights to everybody There we go. Thank you. All right. Let's have some fun. We're gonna give her a little bit of glitter there. I'll give her some glitter on her glasses. Yes, I know I was covering up that highlight mark, but we can always put that back in because you'll be able to see it. We're just adding a little sparkle to my birthday party. I want to give a shout out to all my subscribers. I appreciate you very much. Thank you for all the lovely comments. They do mean a lot. And I'll just throw some glitter in here. Why not? 
Oh, and the birthday hat has. I mean, you can go kinds of all kinds of crazy with these. Um, I can give her purple highlights in her hair. Why not? But I don't have purple hair. I would not be able to pull that off. Now, I have a daughter that has um, purple hair. It's very long. And it looks great on her. And I'll just move that a little bit. But me, no, not so much. No, no. My, my work wouldn't allow it anyway. <laughs> okay, so let's just add a little purple in your scarf there. And I don't know. I have a pink. We can give her pink lipstick. The dog has turquoise colored eyes. I mean, you can, you know, keep going all you want. It's your, it's your birthday party. If it's your birthday this month, happy birthday. I hope you have an amazing day. Now, we can add a big bucket of markers. Please tell me you're focused. That would be nice. I have a small, or do I want? Because she needs a little more lashes. And I don't know. You can just mess with these all you want. That's what I do. And I'll make my cherries stand out more. And I'll go around my word happy. Why not? Just to ground a few things. Here comes the thunder. Why not? Go around my balloon. Do this. I can even add that. I can give it a little hashtag. Around this one. There's so much more you can do. I mean, I always tell everybody the sky's the limit, and it it, it really is. You can just go around everything if you want. You can add little dots in these big white dots. You can add little marks over here. These pens I got at Walmart for $5.00. And I can actually come back here and add where the landscape meets. There's just all kinds of things you can do. It's up to you. But that is the start off art journal page for today. Like and subscribe, leave a comment, and happy birthday to you if it's your birthday this month or whenever. I'll say happy birthday to you. Thank you for watching. Like and subscribe. I would greatly appreciate it. Take care. And bye for now.